Welcome back to In the Gold Fields with another day. I'm out here in the desert right now. It's probably getting around 9 o'clock and let me tell you what, it's getting just a little hot. But I come all the way up here because I want to make a video today on metal detecting. Now, I'm not the greatest metal detector in the world, but I am one of the best bullet finders I've ever known in my life. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to go and show you, before we start metal detecting, a few things you're going to need. Number one, a metal detector. Uh, I actually have the Fisher Gold Bug. I like it. It's very simple to use. Uh, pretty easy, user-friendly. Uh, another one is Gold Bug 2. Works out really well as well. And I also know a Tesoro Lobo is really easy. Those three right there are virtually really friendly. Now, if you want to get really serious into it, then you can might look into some whites and uh, some uh, other models like that. So you're definitely going to need uh, that. Uh, another thing that I like to bring out with me is a uh, what they call the Falcon MD-20. Now, a lot of people use these in different various ways. Uh, the reason why I like to bring it is because, number one, it's a, it's, a, it's a great pen pointer. If you're in... Uh, if you get into a lot of stuff and you're digging, you know, if you got a target 10, 11 inches deep, you know, take your pinpointer down in there and you could actually pinpoint, you know, which direction you got to go. Sometimes it's not always straight. Sometimes it's, you know, you're just off the mark and it's just in an angle. But I like to use it as a pinpointer, number one. Number two, which I don't have today, is my gold pan. I didn't really think I was going to be using it, but I kind of wish I did bring it because there's plenty of places up here that I can... Uh, dry uh, dry pan with uh, when I dry pan a little bit I like to use this in, a, in my dry pan as soon as I get it down to just the bottom of the collections instead of blowing everything out I'll sit there and go like this with the, the, the pinpointer it'll tell me if there's something in it or not if there's not I just throw it away so it makes it real real pretty easy and like I said it's a Falcon MD 20 uh, a lot of people seen these uh, you'll be seeing me like I said I'll show you today just how pretty much I use it that's another thing you got to bring uh, the third thing I like to bring along is a nice pick, and this pick right here I'm going to give a special shout out to. This pick I've actually had for a year and I have not got to do a shout out because I've been waiting to do this video, and it's, like I said, it's been a year since I've been trying to do this video. But anyway, I got this pick from the Prospecting Channel, Prospector's Channel, yeah, Prospecting Channel. You could actually, uh, you could actually go on uh, on the computer and watch them. They've got some good videos. They've, uh, I think, they've been on local California TV. But anyway, I won this pick through a Facebook like contest, and thanks to all my friends out there that went to the uh, the company and liked my picture, I actually won this pick. Uh, this pick is made by Apex Picks, and folks, let me tell you what one of the one of the most damnedest good picks I've ever had in my life. That thing is sturdy, built like a tank. It doesn't matter what you stick it in, she's gonna go in, the top's nice and solid. I got one, two, and three magnets on this. So if there's any junk that I'm digging out of the ground, instead of me bending over all the time, it sticks right to, it'll stick right to it. I find out if I got a piece of wire, piece of metal, anything like that. Unfortunately, aluminum doesn't stick to it, <laughs> and uh, gold nuggets don't stick to it. So if you got those in the ground, and lead neither, so you still gotta dig up the bullets. But one of the best picks, so, uh, yeah, thanks to the Prospecting Channel and Apex Picks. I uh, appreciate the contest, and I'm glad that I won. And like I said, if you if you don't have an Apex Pick, you just don't have a pick. That's all I'm telling you. One, it's one good pick, I'm telling you. And I, I thank them guys for the contest and the chance to win. Another thing, you know you're in the desert. Water. Got to have water. I'm out here right now. I've got a creek. It's probably about, I don't know, 400 yards down from me. I've walked up, probably got a... A good mile and a half, maybe two miles up this wash to get where I'm at now. If I see footprints or roads, that's not the place I want to be metal detecting. Too many bullets around. But uh, anyway, I walked up this wash and I took a, a gander up the hill. And sure enough, I come across a whole bunch of this. Nice white quartz. Now I've got literally a football field from down at the flats up this whole hill of nothing but this nice quartz coming coming out of the hill. Now, I'm not for sure. I can't see the source of it, but we got a lot of greenery down here uh, right now, so it's kind of hard to, to look up in the mountains and see exactly what you're going to uh, going to be following because, of course, like I said, it's so sparse and so uh, spread out. It's time for a drink, by the way. But anyway, like I said, uh, those are just the, the things that I like to start out with. Uh, today, I don't have, which I should have, 
is a pair of snake chaps on. Uh, I try to stay in the, uh, the op more open parts when I don't have any snake chaps on. They just started coming out probably about two weeks ago. I'm just seeing trails actual as of this week through the sand and everything. So I do know that they're out, but uh, I haven't seen any rattlers yet. I've probably seen a couple gopher snake trails or what they call a, a, a gopher snake. I'm not for sure what they actually call it, but they're big. No harm to us there. They uh, generally eat rattlesnakes, rats, uh, anything else out here in the desert. So, But yeah, always, if you're going to come out in the desert, uh, anytime when it's, good, it's, good, it's warm, if you're in the 80s, just figure on there's going to be snakes out there. That's all I can just tell you. So yeah, always have you a good pair of snake chaps. But anyway, like I said, we're going to get this show on the road and get hunting this little minefield, I hope. Uh, I'll probably be finding a couple bullets. I hope not. But like I said, I usually find a lot of bullets. And if I could find one or two pieces of gold today, I'd be really happy. But I'm not guaranteeing anything. Like I said, when I make a video, I don't salt nothing. If I find it, I find it. If I don't, well, guess what? That's just one of the times you prospected and didn't make it. Anyway, stick in there. And, uh, yeah, let's get this hunting on the road. Located me a little target right here. I don't know quite what it is yet. Don't know if it's hot rock, but I do know it's right here. Like I said, then I got my, my little falcon. I'll take that off. Turn it on. Little check. Okay getting anything with it right out of the bat. Maybe put up the sensitivity a little, sensitivity a little bit more. Okay, so that means it's a little bit deeper than what this is going to go. So what we'll do now is we'll come back with the metal detector again. right in there. So now we'll just give her a little, little big in action. I wonder how deep it is, but we'll figure it out. But you can see this quartz, it's it's literally everywhere. So to find a good to find a good piece, maybe a chispa piece, got a good chance and man I'd love to find one of those. Who wouldn't right? Alright so I'm gonna dig that out a little bit. Okay, come back in. Okay, I must have hit it somewhere. Get my pick out of the way. Somewhere. Okay, so it's in here somewhere. seems to be what to call a good hot rock and like I said I haven't used the metal detector for quite some time so I kind of forgot some of the sounds but that's a sound you hear when there's a hot rock so number one target down let's go find some more all right now you'll notice that uh, hear that double tone that's one of them hot rocks. You'll notice that I'm not really going that fast. I'm not, I'm not doing this stuff. I'm not flying around the desert. If you go too fast, you're gonna miss little pieces of gold that you probably wouldn't have found in the first place. So you don't wanna go too fast. A lot of people rub their thing along the ground. I don't like to do that. It kinda of wear it out unless you got a protector. I've got my sensitivity or my sensitivity about at five inches. So 
That's pretty good. And if you see a gold nugget for a gold nuggets in there, you're going to hear it. Another double tone, so that's another hot rock. Like I said, you'll shut every now and then. That's going to be junk. Hear that? Just got that really whiff. That's actually a button on my shoe. That's how I test it. Make sure stuff's going, still going good. It is. But you can see this quartz is like, literally, I mean, I've got a field of it about probably 50 feet wide going clear up this hill. So it's going to be some good searching today. So we're going to find something. Probably a bullet. But we're going to find something. Got a piece of quartz now right off the top I would say I don't really see anything in there but that doesn't say there's not anything in there the old go bug sings off on it let's see what the real testers got to say turn my sensitivity down now see that oh listen to that now if it goes in and it sounds off it's gold if it pulls back and it doesn't, that means it's it's got it's crap. Well listen to this. I can hear it. Now watch this. Oh, I got the chispa piece I've been wanting. Boy, I can't see it yet, but I bet you if I open this up or grind it down, there's gonna be some gold in this rock. I knew this, I knew this course filled with payoff. Woo! Let me tell you, it's getting a little, it's getting a little warm out here right now, but man. I finally got a chispa piece, and I know there's gold in it. I just can't visibly see it right now. It's got a lot of cracks and inclusions in it, but it's all it's also filled with some dirt here and there. So, anyway, it sounds off like gold. <laughs> I finally found one. Let's get at it. Let's okay, find some more. Double tone. Bad rock. Let's go. All right. For all you uh, coin shooters and relic hunters back in the East Coast and all that, let me just show you a little problem up here we got in Arizona. This is what they call a choa. They call it a jumping cactus. Now, this cactus, the reason why they call it a jumping cactus is because you can see on the ground here you see all these little balls well when you go by those balls will stick to your shoe then they'll bounce up to your back and when they get stuck in you trust me these little things right here I'm not even going to touch them because I know how dangerous they are uh, they will light you up so to speak and what's funny is because I, I wouldn't even have thought about this but I just backed up into this son of a gun and I'm glad I got my Duluth fire hose pants on because it didn't go all the way through but I got like three pokes right in the rear end and like I said these things are Pretty dangerous. You watch, see that little ball just jump off there? Yeah. You got to watch them where they go, man. They will. <laughs> they're made to get you and they're made to stick you. So anyway, out in the desert, keep your eyes out for these things. They're nice and glowy and they look pretty. But they will stick you where it counts. <laughs> okay, just to give you a little example about where I'm at. Uh, well, I couldn't tell you myself. All I know is this is the scenery I'm looking at. I'm going to try to give you a nice little sparrow shot there. Right over that way is the wash that I walked up. And then this wash here is going to be the actual one I'm going to walk up going back. But as you can see, <laughs> there's not uh, too many roads out here. There's not, uh, there's not a whole lot of nothing, actually. Yeah. That wash right there is going to be really nice. Can't wait to see. Already found one chisp apiece and no bullets. Let's keep up the good work, shall we? Oh, let me tell you what. Walking ain't crowded, but you tend to have some surprises once in a while. Just coming back down off of that big hill you just seen. And, 
Well, I had a little bobcat, which they're not too small when you're standing about 15, 20 feet from. Coming up the wash as I was coming down. Now, I'm walking pretty quiet because I'm metal detecting. He's walking pretty quiet because he's hungry. Anyway, grabbed old Swiftwater Jr. here and didn't have time to grab the camera. I wasn't worried about that. He was a little too close for me to worry about. Like I said, grabbed old uh, Swiftwater Jr. right here. And uh, I was ready, just sitting there, and I let him uh, pretty much figure out what I was and pretty much figure out where he wanted to go. I gave him as much room as what he wanted to do, so he kind of slunk down and slid it off through the weeds and stuff like that. So, But I made sure that he didn't outflank me. I was sitting up there watching, and he went all the way back down in the wash and cut up the wash again. But, man, you never know what you're going to see out here. Like I said, it's, getting, uh, it's starting to get a little later, and I can't believe he's actually out at this hour. It's got to be like 11, almost 12 o'clock. So it's, it's pretty freaking hot for them guys to be out right now, but man, he was quiet. Anyway, like I said, like cactuses and stuff like that, keep your eyes out, keep your ears open. You got to have all your senses out here because one wrong thing, you know, it either sticks you, bikes you, or stings you. That's the desert. <laughs> but yeah, hang on a little bit. I'm going to get down and get up in this wash again and do a little bit more uh, metal detecting. It's pretty good wash. I don't see too much quartz up it, but it's a real good wash. Uh, seems to be pretty open. It's got some good gravels, uh, some old gravels that's in there. I see they're probably about two, three feet high. So we're definitely going to check it out. But, yeah, just a little lesson learned there. Always be prepared. That's a good hit. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> I don't even have to get my pick out for that. So surprising. I haven't found one all day and there it is. A freaking bullet. Pretty funny, 22. It's not even got a scratch on it. Man, being somebody must have just shot this in the air. It looks like it just come, it's old, but it come out of, you know, it doesn't even have a ding on the end of it. Anyway, that's what a gold nugget will sound like. Woo, I can't wait to like one. Keep looking. All right, now, I'm pretty far back in here, but I want to show you something, because this has actually got moss growing on it and everything. But if you remember back when I made the video about claim markers, now this is an old claim marker right here. Notice how the nice rocks are stacked? They've bricked them up real well. There's moss actually growing on these rocks, or old, old peat moss or something. I don't know what it was when it was wet. But uh, I haven't looked inside of it yet, but let's take a peek. And, all right. There's no inside of this one. It's just a stack of rocks. But what this did was back in the old timers, or it could have been even in the early 50s, who knows. But uh, sometimes somebody was back here and actually made a claim on this ground. Like I said, out here in the desert, you gotta keep your eyes out for certain claim markers because there's some that are still valid. This one right here, I highly doubt it. Uh, like I said, the up-to-date stuff, usually they have a wind pole, PVZ pipe, something like that that's really gonna stick a stack of rocks like this anymore. You just don't see it that often. But anyway, this is one of the older ones and uh, yeah, we're still out here. Whew, let me tell you what. Whew, you think a hill's just a hill. Good gracious. Anyway, here's another claim marker that was made quite some time ago, and man, it's a big one. Like I said, we're pretty much, we're pretty far out of here. I gotta cover at least five or six more hills before I get back to the claim where my truck is. And like I said, we've been pretty much back here today. It's been pretty far, and I don't know if you can see right behind me over on that next hill, there's also another claim marker there. So, obviously, I know there's gold in this country. There's just too many claim markers back here, but it might have just been maybe when the old timers maybe were speculating on uh, on the gold being here. Uh, if it was here, you know, they already had a claim on it. If it wasn't, they just probably let it go. But man, these some of these claim markers, like I said, you can't you can't miss this. This thing's almost as big as I am. But anyway, I wanted to bring you a couple more before I get back to camp. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm still detecting. I've only only had two targets today, but 
Whew, a lot of walking. Like I said, it sure ain't crowded. Sure keeps the exercise good though and keeps me feeling good. My office, you gotta admit, it's dangerous, but I gotta love it. Gotta love it. Anyway, let's see if I can't find me another target, all right? Woo! I love that echo. <laughs> well, look here, I made it over here to this other hill. Now I find out what the claim marker's over there that had a little bitty stripe of quartz vein that went through that mountain. I come over to this one and look at this vein of quartz. It literally goes clear down over and across into that next mountain. Now this is a lot of quartz. I've tested it with my metal detector. I don't, I'm not finding any kind of uh, gold whatsoever in it. But man, this is, this is what they were claiming. I mean, this is, that's three football fields long at least of quartz, about maybe 12 foot wide. One hell of a vein. That's what they were up to. All right, well, here I am back down on the claim. A little bit more breezy down here, but I got my wind control on my camera, so I hope you can hear me. But uh, two targets today. Fantastic day. I got way back here. I had a good time. Seen a lot of stuff that I didn't even know was around. Anyway, I found 22 bullet, which got right there. You know, put that in my little collection, but... Uh, the second one, the second one I got today is the, the little, listen to that. Oh yeah, I got gold in it, man. I got gold in it. Finally found a chispa piece. You don't know how long I've been trying to find a piece that has gold in it like this. Uh, probably I'm thinking about putting this in maybe some acid, letting it eat it away, just to let it have its natural stuff inside. Just to, the quartz will eat away and the gold will still stay. So uh, I'm curious to see what's inside this. I want to be real careful with it, but I'm glad I found it. It's my first one. Yeah! So Swiftwater didn't get skunked today on metal detected. I love it. I love it. Uh, but anyway, I love it. Oh, once again, I'd like to give a, uh, a couple shout-outs. Uh, number one, prospecting channel, Apex Picks. Go check them out, both of them, especially... Especially the Gold Prospecting Channel, they're they're pretty good, and Apex Picks are just dynamite. Uh, the rock and the dirt, the stuff I, I was digging in today, it's real hard stuff. If you even had a shovel with you, it's worthless. It's not going to be worth a darn. So it's pretty good to, to, to have a good pick, and Apex seems to be pretty dang good. I back them up all the way. I want to give a couple yells to my, my sponsors. Uh, Can't Stop Smoking Barbecue and Hobnob Sports Grill, Chandler, Arizona. They're both in the same uh, little parking area, so go in and, and have a drink and go in and have some barbecue. Definitely, you can do both at, at either one of them. So, but tell them I said hi. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm going to sit here and chill out. Be in the little breeze. We're more than a little breeze now. Now it's blowing the bees everywhere. You can't beat it out here in the desert. There's everything. But anyway, as for me, I'm Swiftwater, and I'm out of here. And remember, Get out there and start living life before life isn't there to start living. And I may see you in the gold fields.